uh, to like open a joint account. It's a fucking nightmare. No, moving is fun. Hey, there we are. I'm here. One second, right? Real quick, just Russian jazz. Oh, I mean, look forward to playing this. I've been putting it off, but I was like, you know what? Might as well just go for it. I want, I want to play Galaxy, though. No jumping in the sewer! Good. Hey, Embers Black, thank you for the eight months of support. Man, I haven't played Galaxy in such a long time. I love Galaxy. So I've been like, you know, I've been kind of gagging for a bit of Galaxy in my mouth. Choose from 10 languages? UK and Australia? What about the US? Is that different? Oh, it is. <laughs> that's, their, that's their own English. We don't speak the same kind of English. Are any of these new to you at all? No. <laughs> no. I don't know if there's a Mario game I haven't played. Well, a Super Mario game. Is this the start of my Mario campaign? No, probably not. I don't know, we'll see. If I really, I, m I may end up just playing for all of them and then Galaxy 2. I mean, I'll it depends how I feel. Right now, I just want to play Mario Galaxy. And, uh... Oh, okay. Right now, I just want to play Mario Galaxy and, um... We'll see where we go from there, I guess, basically. HD Galaxy, baby. Oh, I got it. Uh, obviously, Toad. Ready for adventure. A giant Toad face. This is gonna be interesting using the 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 tilt thing inside of this controller. Have you all been, by the way? How was your weekend and also Friday and Monday? Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle with what is this voice? <laughs> where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Yo, Mario, get over here. I'm fucking horny. Let's go. Come, come fix my pipes, Mario. Slam a, <laughs> slam a Slim Jim and get over here. I've got some lasagna and pasta. I know you love it. Paisanos. And meatballs or whatever the hell it is you like. I really just, honestly, if I can never play a game with the Joy-Cons, I, I don't, I, I, I don't want to. I hate the buttons, I hate the layout of the Joy-Cons, I really don't like the Joy-Cons. 
they're too fucking small for my hands. Like they're too like the buttons and the the placement of the of the the right Joy-Con stick is so awkward for me that I constantly hit it when I'm trying to hit the buttons. Like my thumb, my thumb catches on the stick, and I can't sometimes hit the buttons. That's how needlessly stupid it is for the way that my hands work. It's dumb. It's dumb. I hate the Joy Cons. I hate them. I hate them. But I'll play them sometimes. If I if I feel like it's gonna be better to play with them, then I'll, I'll play with them. But you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. Do you think Mario often falls into the classic porn plumber? Possibly, you know. I can imagine. I can imagine Mario laying down a couple of pipes, you know. So beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like, I love Nintendo's innovation. Hit the sack, Jack! But at the same time. Let's avoid full time of sunlight and darkness. Pride wing on the brain, pride wing. Oh, thank you, Grand, for the 55 months. It's like, I, I appreciate they're trying to, like, mix things up, but at the same time, stop making me play games with jank ass controllers, please. Just let me play with normal controllers. I love the toads and capes. I've never noticed that before. Oh my god, I love that. I never noticed those toads wore capes. That's amazing. What's the sneak thing? Oh yeah, so I'm part of sneak at the moment. Um... So if you uh, if you happen to be using Sneak for whatever reasons, you don't have to obviously, but if you do happen to be using them, and use the code Milby the checkout. Uh, it helps me, so I get a bit, and uh, it lets them know that um, partnering with me is is worth doing. You know. Yeah, you'll see a logo occasionally on stream. It's gonna it'll, it'll pop up and disappear. It won't always be there. Spaceship. I forgot Bowser had an alien spaceship.
Lick, lick, lick my balls! Hello, it's your boy Mr. Mario coming right at you and your plumbing. Prepare your pipes. <laughs> Man, that's when you were 45 months. It's your boy, Master Mario, coming right at you, and you're plumbing. Hey, it's always me, Mario. I'm here to, I'm here to fix your pipes. What's that? You need your pipes plumbed? Yeah, any time. I can't hear you. Did you just say you need your pipe pipes fixed? I don't understand you. My dude is now in space. Dude, freaking Mario, he can't even fight us. He can't even fight Magic Cooper. Like, what the heck? This freaking loser. He can't even fight a freaking Magic Cooper guy. Whatever his name is. Kamek, that's the name. Magic Cooper is not the name. Wait, I think, I don't know. Where did I get Magic Cooper from? I don't know. The name came from somewhere, I know that. Yeah. Finally, you're awake! Let's play! I don't want to play with you. Come on, jump with me! How am I on another planet? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm for now, for the first time in my life, was Mario realizing that there are alien planets with other people on. This is a massive, momentous moment. But I will not react. Great, Grant. Let's play hide and seek. If you can catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Oh, this is fantastic. I was, this is a huma, mo, momentous occasion where I finally met alien life, and there were a bunch of freaking hide and seek bunnies. Jesus. I thought I killed all of you back in the old Mario days. It looks like you come back for more. Oh, let me tell you, I'm going to sort you out. More sort you out. Where's these freaking bunnies at? I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, Jesus! I just fell through the planet. There's no. This planet's hollow. Holy shit, the hollow earthers were right. This is crazy. My whole concept of the planet has been torn apart in front of my very eyes. You caught me. You caught me. Damn, this is crazy. Oh my god, the bunny just turned into a freaking star. I don't know what this is insane. <laughs> this is absolute madness. Oh, if only I'd hidden in a pipe. Dude, space is terrifying. I grabbed him by his ass. A strong grip. You got me. Oh my god, he turned into a star as well. What the hell? I should have hidden in the grass. There he is. Come here. Oh, can't believe I let myself get caught. Why does the bunny sound like that? <laughs> Look how tightly he's gripping them by the cheeks. He's working them like a puppet. Mario, you gotta get your hand out of that bunny's ass. He didn't ask for this. I just wanted to play a game of hide and seek. Clapping them bunny cheeks. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. 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 Oh my god, a freaking... Did you see that? If they just freaking build a castle out of stardust. This is crazy. Listen, I don't know none. I don't know nothing about stars, but I'm pretty sure that the reason stars exist is because you you burn up the trash, and then the trash turns into the smoke, the, the smoky smell that we all love so much, and then the smoke rises out of the sky where it becomes stars. Holy shit! Look at the size of this lady. Oh my god. Princess Princess Peach. Who? I don't give a shit. This is my Amazonian queen. Oh my god, she's huge. She's freaking giant, dude. Somebody fret, somebody fetch me my gear. I'm about to go mountaineering. I like uh I like this character of um horny porn star Mario. <laughs> horny porn star Mario accidentally ends up in space. Yo, my name ain't Mario, it's Dario, okay? Big Dick Dario, that's the name. I'm watching you from, uh, here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. <laughs> oh, I... There you go, that's the voice. <laughs> I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. Why have I given her that voice? I have no idea. My name is Rosalina, <laughs> and I watch over and protect the cosmos. <laughs> to save your special... I don't know why I've given her this voice. <laughs> To save your special one, you'll need to power travel through space. I just, I don't have, I can't do girl, I don't have an array of girl voices. I can't do them. It sucks. Wish I had more. Wish I had some, like, hidden in the tank. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wilma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Just do Valley Girl. I do Valley Girl for, like, every female character. Fuck it, went out. <laughs> Like, oh my god, Luma can like totally give you this power, and I'll like entrust you with his care, okay? Okay. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I can like shake now, okay? Got it. Okay, disaster has like totally struck us, like just as it has visited you. With like Luma, I hope you can like rescue the grand stars. Oh, what the hell? This is crazy. I just, I just, I, my freaking girlfriend just got kidnapped. Well, I mean, we're not a good, listen, okay. I say girlfriend, but I mean, I don't know where we stand, all right? Like, we've been friends for a long time, and like, you know, I saved her a couple times. She's like, kissed me on the nose and baked me a cake. But like, we never really discussed, like, what we are. Like, what are we? We, are we, are we like a couple? Are we just like friends? Are we like friends with benefits? And what are the benefits? Are the benefits a kiss on the nose and a free cake now and then? I mean, like I'm f I'm constantly plumbing her pipes, and I don't mean that in like the sexual sense. I mean, I literally am there every day, freaking plumbing her pipes, fixing. I don't know what the fuck she's eating, but like there are giant turds in that toilet every day, and she's got a toilet, and the toilet's neck hole is just for farts. And she keeps taking a shit in the toilet that's just for farts. And I keep telling her, Princess, this is a fart toilet. This is not a shit toilet. And she just keeps... and It's a little chokehold. It's just for farts toilet. And she just keeps doing it. And I don't know why. I'm there every freaking day. Picking pieces of shit out of her fart toilet. And she never fucking shits in the shit toilet. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> This is if Dom Mazzetti. Where's this going? I don't know. It's gonna keep going till I get to it. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Now, the, the point was, I don't know where we are. So, like, you know, if me and you wanted to do something, Rosalina, then, you know, we could probably get something going on. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. You know, like, I know. Listen, all right. Listen. People think me and Peach is together, but, like, I'm pretty sure she's, like, with the toads or whatever. I don't know. I think it's, like, a whole thing. Uh. <laughs> anyway, so like I was saying, you, know, you want to go out for like a milkshake or something? <laughs> oh my god, like may the shards shine down on you and like, no way, dude. Look at the thighs of you. Jesus Christ. You think I'm going to be like, 
scene with some shrimpy ding? Like it's, I'm, like, I'm like fucking three times as tall as you. Also, like, shave that mustache, Jesus. What are you, Tom Selleck? Get out of here. Press Y to spin. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That was so fast, my eyeballs have come out of my sock. How am I even... You know what? I ain't gonna question how I'm breathing. I'm just... I just am. If I start to question it, maybe I'll just die suddenly. Good to see you. I have some bad news, though. See, I had a Lord Star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Wait, did you just say a freaking black hole? Oh my god, dude, there's a freak, there's a black hole in the. Oh my god, this is insanity. <laughs> dude, I was like on a planet, and now I'm like, there's a, I'm on a freaking hollow planet with a, with a freaking black hole in its core. This is madness. I'm not mentally prepared for this. This is mad. I, I don't know what I'm doing here, man. This is crazy. There's like meteorites coming down. Like, what the? Oh my god, the controls just got all weird. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god. I got an additional Mario? Is it like a clone of me now? What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? That's crazy. Hello. Well, I just murdered a guy, so I guess I can't go back home now, because I'm probably wanted for murder and all that. Huh. Dude, my freaking eyeballs are on fire. Get out of here. It's a weird way to say you've got, you got an extra life. It isn't it. You just got an extra Mario. It makes me think that... That every time Mario dies, he's just cloned. <laughs> That's a six-day violation. Someone tell Arnie. Ow. Now, Sylvester Stallone is like... Hey, let me you. This is this is Mario the 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 plumber. Oh look at this! This is fucking this is fantastic. I love this. Look at it. Here we go. Be like, hey you, hey look at this fantastic guy. I love this plan. This plan's great. <laughs> this is Sylvester Stallone's deadbeat cousin, Mario. Mario. Hey, you know, I never got into films or nothing like that, but uh, you know what could have been. I keep going into Sylvester Lone now you said that. You know what? Madness, now you said that. I hear it too. <laughs> hey there. I okay. Hey there, how's it going? Yeah, you know what? I do sound a bit like I have just created that character, but less slightly less dumb. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck, I love that one. It's so good. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key! Oh, I got bad news. I killed them all. I didn't see no key. Oh, there he is. I killed him. Is there a new season of Big Mouth out yet? I don't think so. Hey, Fang, would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a sling star. Wait a minute, wait, what are you? Wait, what the heck? Holy shit. My... 
The freaking dude, what? <laughs> oh my god, I'm never gonna sleep again. That was terrifying. I may never I may never rest. Lick 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 my balls! Woo! Electrostone, thank you for the three months of support. Dude, I'm a freaking murder machine. Holy crap, that guy's huge. What kind of roids has this guy been taking? I tell you, I saw a guy in the gym once and he was kinda like that size, but uh you know, he was he wasn't he wasn't no natty, let me tell you that, you know. The guy was juicing out of his fucking eyeballs. Look at this freaking guy. Oh my god. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, you know what I'm saying? Oh. A little bit Rodney Dangerfield there. <laughs> oh. Hey, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, you know. Oh. Ah. Whoa, oh my god. There's like live electrical wilds around here. You know, I got a cousin, Barry, who's pretty good with electrics if you need that fixed. Oh my god. I think I'm dead. I mean, I got like a brother named Luigi. He's a bit of a fucking puss, but uh, you know, he's pretty good with electrics. And also, he's got like a hoover that sucks up ghosts. I don't know what the hell that's about, but he does. Uh, hurry down here! I guess I'm going down a pipe. Do what I do, what I do best. You got to see that uh, the pipes in space work the same as they do back on uh, planet, whatever the fuck planet I'm on. Mario planet. Uh. Yo, I've been waiting for you. That's a grand star. We have to save it. Dude, this place is freaking crazy. <laughs> They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. Looks like it's making a cannoli. We need to cannoli out of here. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Alright. Don't mind me, I'm just... Up coins. Whoa, Mario's controls just went all weird there. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. I never hit, I've never been hit by so many electrical bits. Oh my god, dude, Jesus. Game's fucking with your neck. Are you t tilting your neck to try and see it from like the correct angle every time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm turning them off, dude. This is it relaunch of the first galaxy? Yeah. It's on the Switch. It has to be on the Switch. The original Wii's uh, fidelity, graphic fidelity, wasn't this nice.
This is a really good game. It's up there as some of the one of the, it's up there as some of the best Mario's by far. Oh, I'm on a freaking uh, spaceship. This is crazy, man. What the hell? Dude, I was like on a planet with my girlfriend who isn't a girlfriend. And now I'm in a freaking spaceship flight in the galaxy. I don't know what to make of this. I'll be honest with you. Oh, the beacon is lit again. <clears throat> it shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class six star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh my god, like, thank you for saving the grand star. Oh my god. <laughs> These star people are like my family. They mean like so much to me. <laughs> Everything I say in that voice sounds really sarcastic. <laughs> I mean, like, so much of me. Oh, my God. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's, like, kind of my home and, like, also home to the Lumas. But, like, they don't pay rent. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> They're more like freeloaders. They're, like, really, really weird. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't, I don't know. I've, like, asked them for, like rent and they just kind of laugh and go Ugh. it's like it's kind of awkward you see we like travel the starry skies okay we pass by this area like once every 100 years <laughs> okay and quick uh quick uh quick note don't ask how old i am okay very rude <laughs> it's fucking it's fucking hot okay it's fucking don't worry but, like, we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had, like, latched onto our ship and was, like, pulling away star bits and, like, our power source. And then our ship had totally lost power. And so it's, like, ended a deep hibernation state in which it, like, totally can't move. So, like... <laughs> Mario? Can you fix my pipes, please? Like, for real? Oh, my God, this is freaking ridiculous. I'm, in, I'm on the fucking planet fixing Peach's fucking fart toilet. And I'm over here fixing a freaking spaceship. I can't believe this. Those who took our special power, your special one. Oh, listen, I, stop calling her my special one, all right? She, <laughs> she's like an acquaintance. You know, it, uh, you, you, I feel like you're trying to deliberately shut us down. You know, we could have something special here. I don't know. I like they totally picked up the power stars and discovered the power across the universe. Anyway. So like, please, I like totally have a request. Can you like, like, you know, whatever, help. <laughs> this observatory uses like star power to project images of the galaxies that are like scattered across space. And there's like a chance that maybe we can use our few remaining stars to look for like other stars. Like these round rooms are called domes, okay? And we like, observe galaxies from domes, okay? But the only one that's working right now is like powered by a star power, okay? And you like restart it, so like this is it's like this one, it's like the terrace, okay? So like if you could just go to the terrace and like try to recover the power stars, you can and like that's the see way from there. Or whatever. The news goes. I am walking here. Oh, yeah. So I'm like totally walking here, huh? okay? Thank you, cheese, for the 24 months of support. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. <clears throat> then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Yeah, I want to save my game. Alright, I guess I'll fix your freaking spaceship then, I suppose. It was first person mode. Let's go. Ricky Ticky Tabby Bitch. I am here for Chav Rosalina. I wasn't Chav Rosalina, that was Valley Girls Rosalina. <laughs> oh my god, like, Kyle. 
How dare you? How dare you accuse that of being Chav, Rosalina? Thank you for the 53 months, uh, Rustler. Yo, I'm a freaking plumber. I ain't no fucking, like, spaceship engineer. You call my- you call Luigi for that, right? He's- he's kinda into that shit. That's some fucking nerd shit. I'm Mario. I'm always- I'm just about fucking banging babes and fixing pipes, right? Mario, we know you're not like that. Oh, come on. You busting my balls here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Welcome. This Delmax is an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a- Oh, please don't make him fucking turn into a star again. This is terrifying. Simply point your pointer at the pole star and press A. If you lose sight of the star, you can reset it with R. <laughs> if you're playing in hand, I don't care about that because I'm not playing in handheld mode. Whoa! This is freaking crazy, dude. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you'll be able to travel. Okay. Ricky Ticky Tabby Bitch! Yeah. Thank you, Blaring Doc, for the 31 months of support. It's Good Egg Galaxy. What? Nothing better than a good egg. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Well, I don't want to freaking go there then. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Hype train! Hype train! Who's on the hype train? Choo choo. I must warn you, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of fossil fuels on that planet. Wubba lubba dub dub! Hype train. Hype train, hype train. Hype train, hype train. Hype train, it's insane how hype the hype train is. <laughs> Hype train lame. It's the lame hype train. Lame hype, hype train. Ah. Get tired of one or two in the version. I can stop each one, so be careful. I can't remember what's up here. Oh shit, my it's freaking musical notes. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Boom. Nailed it, bro. Freaking nailed it. Let's go. Yeah, what is with that random, like, bit of... Ricky Ticky Tabby, bitch! Where Mario just runs in circles. Six is the first perfect number. Six is the per first perfect number. Oh. Is nine the other one? I don't want to skip a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to go back. <laughs> Upside down six. Oh, yes. Cool. And there's like bits hidden all over the place around here. Well, I didn't skip anything at all. <laughs> Ooh, 
Oh my god, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. I'm fine. Trip you though. <laughs> over here then oh my god <laughs> oh this is freaking with my brain a bit freaking chris angel over here mind freaking me freaking he freaked my freaking bean dude my god has been officially freaked Say shum shum slippity dop. Sakomi Aroma Aurorum, thank you for the 61 months of support. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Destroyed, bro. Oh, oh fucking no. Good way, dude. Yo, let's go. Oh, my freaking bean. Ow. I wonder if you can shoot him or not. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to break them. I was trying to break them when they killed me. I was trying to break them when they killed me for it. Can't believe these guys. You know, use a free seashell. No, help me, oh my god. <laughs> it's a living nightmare I can't wake up from. No! <laughs> oh my god, the controls keep going really fucking weird in this. I really want to break their soft jelly centers. But it's, it's proving to be a pain in the ass. Get them all. I got them all. I was determined to get all of those beautiful soft jelly rocks. On this freaking peanut planet. <laughs> oh, it's freaking peanut planet. Yo, get me some peanuts. Everybody got cherries. Oh, they're my favorite type of cherry. What? Ready for that yet? I'm currently exploring. Okay. Currently exploring the world. Woo, 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 woo. Oh my god, there's freaking spikes. Oh, there's more jelly people. My controls have gone weird. 
<laughs> Dude, I don't know if it's worth trying to kill these jelly rocks. They're, they're killing me more than I'm killing them. Like, sure, you kill the jelly rocks, but at what cost? Oh, has anyone watched the Dragon's Dogma manime? Ow. Oh, you don't get the... F oh, fuck that. I do it for the star. Oh. <laughs> I do it for the freaking star bits. Oh, you only get a couple. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it came out on Netflix, like, on the weekend. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I don't really love the visuals of it, I'll be honest. Like, it's not bad. It's like, it tells the story, it tells the basic story of Dragon's Dogma. Uh, like, it tells a complete story from start to finish, which is nice. It's not like one of those, oh, wait until you get to season three. It was like a nice one and done kind of thing. Yeah, it's not, it's not as ugly as Berserk, but it's not as pretty as Beastars. Which are the two I can think of in my head. It does air more towards Berserk sometimes, I won't lie. It's not the prettiest 3D. I was kind of hoping they were going to go for more of like the Castlevania style, but no. Uh, excuse me? Okay, freaking Ocean's Eleven under the, under the ground over here. God, he was gonna kill me. He was gonna see me at the party, Rick to me. Oh, I can't believe this guy. Oh, I see. So if I like jump on them, they make coins. Oh. All right, murdering people makes money. I get it. Oh, the dragon eating one. Yeah, I quite like that one as well. That was that was that was a pretty that was quite a pretty free one. It was funny, at the start, the Dragon's Dogma 3D thing put me off, and then, like, after an episode, I'd kind of forgotten. Yeah, I get, I get that it's like, I get why they do 3D anime and stuff like that. It's definitely more cost effective in terms of like that and and in just general terms of like the amount of effort that goes into like hand drawn shit. But I liked it. I will I will say though. They didn't include the theme song from the original Dragon's Dogma in it, which I thought was a massive mistake. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill, I'm just gonna kill this newborn baby, okay? Give me a second. He just come to life. He thinks I'm his mommy and I'm just gonna fucking end his existence.
What's up? I hate children. <laughs> Mario hates kids, confirmed. Hey, what can I say? Parenthood. It's a pain in the head. Oh, oh, oh I'm freaking getting no respect over here. <laughs> what, what are you? What are you trying to be here? Like a Brooklyn guy or Rodney Dangerfield? Well, I don't know. I, I want to be everyone. <laughs> but yeah, they didn't use the. The wind is pushing me. They didn't use that in the Dragon's Dogma anime intro, which shocked me. I was like, surely they'll use it. It took itself very seriously. Like, it was a very serious show. <laughs> it was basically just people are shit, and here's everyone being shit. Hey, Patty, you okay, baby? Oh, yes. Mwah. Right. I'm just going to real quickly grab the rest of my tuna pasta, which is sitting in a bowl in the kitchen, and I will be right back, okay? You may get an ad or two. I will not be long. I'm back. Ugh. Tuna pasta. Tuna and pasta? That's crazy. We need those star bits because we got to feed that fat fucking Luma later on. <laughs> This is fat ass Luma we have to feed until he literally explodes. <laughs> hey, I love it. it's my favorite. It's my favorite scene in Seven where you f force feed a Luma until he freaking blows up. You see the tuna pasta I tweeted to you? Oh, I did. I forgot to like respond to it. I saw it and then was like, cool. And they didn't say anything. See, this is tuna pasta. I mean, uh, I mean, I see what you've done here. You've got, you've taken tuna and pasta, and you've gone fucking insane. I don't know how I feel about that. No, it looks, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna lie. It looks a lot healthier than my tuna pasta. I like the uh, leeks. <laughs> I don't know what those are. I'm gonna lie. I've got no idea. I see what you're trying to do, though, Madness. You're, you're trying to replace me as head to a pasta guy. Let me tell you. It can't be done. It can't be done. I'll take you down. Me and you in the kitchen, tuna pasta. 
Whoever eats the most is the tuna pasta king. <laughs> Until one of us explodes. Like that, like 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 these guys when they turn into stars, you know. Tap in the screen. Pick up the stars. Dude, I, my, my screen would have a hole in it if I was done with that. You, yeah, you, you you take a shot at the king, you best not miss, you know. This freaking guy. Hi, Penny. Oh, tasty! I love it. Wait, wrong one. Oh, tasty! I love it. Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. You freaking what? A fee? I already was doing that. You, you can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry luma. Either way, I'm sure Starbits will help be a big help on your adventure. There's the hungry loomer outside. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, thank you, Patty. Oh, you're very needy right now. <laughs> like very attention seeky is Q what cats are going to the apartment house and none <laughs> we're not moving into an apartment I I mean just neither of us want to do apartments None of the cats are coming. They stay in here with their parents. <laughs> what you doing, Patty, huh? What you doing? It's a rented house, but yeah, you get more, you don't really, there's not, where I live, it's not like, it's not a big city or anything like that, so you're more common to get rented houses than apartments. Can I have chickens? No, you can't have pets in a rented house. <laughs> Very rarely do you ever let you have pets in a rented house. Say in the same town, pretty close, like 10 minute drive away, 10 15, maybe 15, maybe 10 15. Anyway. Jazz doesn't want to go far from uh, her mum. Jazz also doesn't really want cats because she doesn't want to deal with hoovering up the fair all the time. And I was like, you know what? That's very fair. <laughs> Will Jazz move in with her dog? Well, like I said, no pets, so no. Yeah. <laughs> 
kind of pets in movie? No, these are stress chickens. I keep these chickens uh, stress related chicken reasons. Collection. Well, we've been playing a little, we've been playing like a little bit of Galaxy here, and it's uh, as lovely as I remember. But now in a high fidelity, which is lovely. I'm having a tuna pond. Oh yeah, of course. Is that we can make a sex dungeon in my room? No. <laughs> no, they're moving. Well, I guess technically, I guess it could be. They're moving the bed in here. <laughs> well, don't like thinking about that. But. Uh, they are, I think they're moving their bed from upstairs down into here so they can do the upstairs of the house. Because that upstairs of the house needs some serious doing. So that'll be very interesting because all the cats will start fighting. Paddy, Paddy owns this room. And she fights every cat that comes in here. But some of the cats really like to sleep with my parents. Like, specifically, like, on top of them, staring at them in the face. So it'll be very interesting to see if they try to do that here. And there's just constant cat fights. As they all vie for, like, control of the room. changing the power dynamics between the cats is going to occur. We're already having a little bit of that because when Poppy died, she was kind of the queen bee. Oops. So, like, they kind of were already a bit like, who's going to take over? But I think it's going to be pretty messy when, when I go. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some mad territory war. Because this room is like Patty's room. She like, she lives in this room basically. The winners of the territory war will be either Patty or Millie. Because Patty is not afraid to go after you, and Millie is not afraid to fight, so it'll. And I think Millie has given in to Patty. I'm not sure. I've seen her roll over a couple times with Patty. Like I love Patty, but she's a fucking bitch. <laughs> she's a horrible cat. <laughs> she's a spoiled. She's a spoiled little. Brat Patty is. And that's entirely that's entirely my fault, of course. Any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then I'll transform. I'm famished. I need a hundred star bits to curb the pain. Hey, here you go, have some star bits. Oh my god, dude, you need to stop eating. Holy shit, dude. 
Oh, well, that's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! They say transform, but what they really mean is explode into just a massive death. <laughs> explode into just a messy, horrible goop. Holy shit, dude, that guy just freaking exploded. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna have nightmares about that one for a while. So where does this one go if I don't... If I don't hit this one, does it go over here? Huh? No, these guys again. Oh no, it's these guys. Not these guys. Yo, how does Mario breathe? Yeah, we don't question that. You know, at first, at first I, at first I wondered that too, and then I thought if I stop thinking about it, that I might stop breathing. So I just went, yeah, hey, you know what? I go with it. God damn it! <laughs> oh, I hate these freaking things. Oh no, get away! Why? What is going on with him? Why does he keep doing that? <laughs> Every time I run around in circles, that's not me. <laughs> the game just suddenly starts doing that. And I, I don't I don't know why. Give me a coin, please. Yeah. If I if I if I start questioning like how I breathe, then I won't be able to breathe. Just like yeah, just like the cartoon characters, you know, if they look down, then they fall. I'm the freaking wily e. coyote of space breathing. What else did I get up to during my weekend of uh, unconsciousness? Um, oh, I did watch Terminator Dark Fate for the first time. Hadn't watched that before. That's the uh, the newest Terminator that's like a sequel to 2 and ignores 3 and all the other bad ones. I didn't hate it. I'll be honest, I didn't hate it. I think it was one of the better Terminator films that's come out recently, but that's not saying much because most Terminator films that have come out recently are shit. So. <laughs> that's like saying that like a shit sandwich is better than like a piss sandwich. Well, actually, that's not true. It'd be like saying a piss sandwich better than a shit sandwich. You don't really want a piss sandwich, but you probably don't want a shit sandwich more. I don't know though. Maybe you do. I don't know which one I'd like more. Chat, what would you prefer? A piss sandwich or a shit sandwich? Can you starve? No, I will force feed you one of them. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
There is no, there is no non-option. There, 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 there is only piss or shit. What would you rather have shoved down your gob? A bunch of piss or a bunch of shit? Okay. Cause I'm fucking touching cloth here and I need to know. Oh, Mario, come on. I don't want to know about that. Piss, probably. <laughs> Laser Glow wants to drink piss. Uh, I got you. I got you. I freaking got you, dude. <laughs> I freaking got you so good. <laughs> it's like a kid, that is. <laughs> he wants to drink piss, but you asked me for a choice. Yeah, you could have just said Niva, but you said I couldn't. Yeah, but you didn't try. Uh, I fucking hate you so much, dude. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> hey, look at this freaking piss baby over here. Oh, mama want a little bit of piss on their lips? Oh, <laughs> oh this freaking piss baby. Whoop, 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 whoop. How is everyone? Good, Athena, good. How you doing? I was saying to everyone, I was basically like semi unconscious for most of this week. The like last weekend, I was so fucking tired. It was ridiculous. I like did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing, and the bits I did do was all related to house moving and shit. Oh, this isn't a Mario Marathon. This is just me playing Mario Galaxy. about that, Athena. You were having that hospital thing. Yeah, I, co I completely forgot to ask you how that went. You gotta have surgery. Oh, shit. Good old NHS waiting lines. Got him thrown away. Wait. Wait. There we go. <laughs> uh, congrats on finishing. Yes, congrats on finishing uni. Now you can enjoy the non uni bubble of the real life world that sucks. I enjoy the uni bubble. It was a good time. Tuna pasta. Yeah, I feel bad for everyone who's having to do uni. 
now, in this time. It sucks. Again, it's such a, like, a weird, fucking, unique experience. As a bonus, though, I guess it will make people actually do the work more. <laughs> like, the coursework and stuff like that more. As opposed to, uh, party on work! Which was me. I was like, work or party? Hmm. Well done, brave explorer. You've discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision and perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. Oh. So, uh, the plan for today, by the way, is play Mario today for most of the day. Uh, take a little break afterwards uh, to do, because i got to do some more fucking packing. <laughs> and then I'll be back in the evening for uh, Spelunky. Uh, I want, what I want to do is I want to play, for the next five nights or so, I want to do Spelunky in the evening. I want to try and get like a full hell run, because I've never managed that. I'd like to do it before Spelunky 2 comes out on PC. It's out on PS4, but it's not on PC. It's out on PC on the 29th. So, I'm thinking what we could do is we might see if we can like beat hell before Spelunky 2 comes out in the evenings. Bit of cozy time Spelunky. The evening cozy Spelunky that's not cozy at all because it's Whee! fucking hard and it's stressful. I'm, I kind of need to take a poop Whee! thinking about it. Yeah. Why don't you Spelunky all over my ass? Excuse me? Online classes make your procrastination worse. Oh. Well, okay, I thought that would happen too. Do we go to the new galaxy? Or do we go to the good egg galaxy again? <laughs> Honey hive galaxy. Let's go back to good egg galaxy. Let's beat this final star. Caliente. <laughs> My area has gone into like a little lockdown again. It's like we can't we we can't leave like the county basically. It's not quite as severe as before, but still annoying. You'd think that, wouldn't you, Athena? Let's not forget the, that complete arse they made up of uh, the whole GCSE A-level shit.
the GCSEs. They had to use um when they uh, when they when the GCSEs came out and the A levels, they did some like. Although I think it's different with universities because it's like I think it's like predicted and stuff. They had to use like predicted grades for some people or something like that. And um, I think it's different with GCSEs and shit. And then I think in A levels they had to. Oh, it was really weird. They like fiddled with like the. Um, with the pass mark, pass rates and stuff like that, so like people who were supposed to be getting A's were getting like fucking C's and D's. They went, they went back on it though and kind of fixed it, <laughs> ish. But it was still a fucking nightmare for a bit. But yeah, I think the university would be different, actually, because I guess it's like the... It's not like a board that marks them, is it? Yeah, yeah, they're not governed by exam boards, so yeah, that makes sense. Oh, look at that. Little watery, planety pools. I'm gonna free this toad from his imprisonment. Oh my God! You saved me. Why is he spinning? Thanks for thanks in return. Let me tell you a secret about this place. Those spiky things seem to hate coconuts. Why? <laughs> Why do they hate coconuts? Like, what are they, what what happened to them? Uh, listen, my uh, spiky, my spiky mama was killed by a coconut, right? My grandfather was, my ancient grandfather was taken out by a coconut. I don't trust coconuts no more. I'm trying to hit them and they fucking won't let me. This is freaking stupid. I shot him, but he didn't care. Oh my god! Somebody call the police, there's been a murder! Was this Among Us? <laughs> body found, body found! It wasn't me, I was hanging out with the coconuts! I don't know, dude. Hanging out with coconuts is pretty sus. <laughs> Officer, I witnessed a murder. A murder of crows. All right, smartass, get a fuck out of here. <laughs> We're not time for this shit, get out of here. Ah, oh, but sir, I only recently found out that a murder of crows was called as such, and so I wanted to tell somebody about it. Great, fantastic. Oh my god. Look at this guy. What a crazy little planet. 
Yeah, for real, there was a lot of dead bears in here. <laughs> someone, uh, you might want to, you might want to call someone. There's a lot of dead bears. Probably should have probably should have checked that before I hit all them. I guess I could have taken that out and killed the the chain chomps, I suppose. Oh well. you, but I'm a little bit worried about this freaking black hole that's hanging out here. It's kind of scary. Kill it. I don't know if I've ever explored so much of like a planet on Mario Galaxy. I'm just like, I'm just having a good time like wandering around being like, oh, look at this place. Got freaking bullet bills! Oh my god, they're firing munitions at me! I'm getting flashbacks to being in the Mushroom Kingdom Vietnam War. Oh. I think Bullet Bills have families. Yeah, their kids are called Billy Bills. Uh, me, Billy. Oh, your attacks won't reach those mean looking aliens. But here's a great idea. Why don't you try to bounce them and back at them? You mean like the coconuts they're firing? Why are the aliens firing coconuts? Another thing we should not question. Lest the, the fabric of the Mario world fall apart. Mm. Oh, dude, there's a freaking black hole underneath me. I'm supposed to be fixing Peach's pipes, <laughs> not saving the not saving the cosmos above a black hole ship. What the, how do these even? I don't even, you know what? I don't get a question. The more I question it, the more likely I am to die.
Boop. It's this guy. I love this freaking guy. He's hilarious at parties. Oh no, the controls messed up. Mario went off in a weird direction. Bam. Yo, I just fought a space squid in a pile of lava. Makes sense to me. Although this place looks more like a chocolate eclair. I fought, I fought King Chef Octopus on chocolate eclair planet. Looks very chocolatey to me, this stuff does. Like, very edible. Like, it makes me hungry. What's everyone's furry for why Mario Galaxy 2 wasn't added? They wanted one of each franchise of the 3D ones represented. And they didn't want two Galaxy. They're going to release Galaxy as a separate standalone thing when the timed, ex timed uh, nature of this game runs out. It was too big. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Chef Octopus sounds like a Metal Gear, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid villain. Chef Octopus. <laughs> yeah, apparently this is going to be limited time, yeah. I think what they'll do is they'll have the, the bundle be a limited time and then they'll separate each game and sell them separately on the Switch online store. That is my prediction. Just over a week until Mario 35. Yo, we're definitely going to be doing some Mario 35 on stream. I am hyped for that. Yeah, it's, it's, they're not bad ports, but like everyone thinks that the 64 port's a bit lazy and the sun, like they, they, they could be more to them, you know? Like if you, when you look, you look at the, you look at the PC Super Mario, Super Mario 64 fan port that was done and that is phenomenal. Like you can get that to run at 60 with like different textures and stuff like that, like 4K textures. Uh... And, like, they did, like, nothing to the 64 version. I wouldn't call them bad ports. I would say they're, they're just, they're, they're lackluster in terms of what, of the potential of what they could have had in there, basically. Because they play fine. They're just, they just, they, they could have done a lot more. I don't know if it's because I don't know if it's hundred percent being compared to remakes like Crash and Spyro. Like I honestly feel like I don't know. I don't know. But I like the 64 remade in the still the same kind of style as like the the Crash and Pyro one. Pyro Spyro? Probably. I don't know. 
It's just like they did nothing to it, basically. It's just why people are annoying. I mean, like, Galaxy seems like the one they put the most effort into. In terms of, like, how the controls work. And, and it is quite nice that you can now officially play Sunshine in, like, widescreen. But, like, the PC port even made 64 on widescreen and shit. I guess they would just, they held, I think they, I feel like Nintendo holds 64 in such reverence that they don't want to touch it. But I feel like, you know, it still exists out there. I, I don't see, like, why you couldn't have, like, a, a retouched version of 64 existing. Plus, it means having to break out the Wii U last. I'm all about that. <laughs> Wii in the Wii U. <laughs> I'd love a Zelda collection. That'd be great. Stick, uh, don't know. Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword together. Although I think there was a rumor going around that Skyward Sword was gonna be poised to switch. It's be Mario. Remember, be yourself. Na 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 by Mario. It be Mario. But don't touch the water. Be yourself. Me. Oh my god, <laughs> oh freaking almost got caught by the water. Oh, I can't grab onto Be Mario. Uh, you 
Skyward Sword's got a bad rep from YouTubers for his motion controls. I feel like it gets a bad rep from a lot of people for motion controls. I don't I don't love the motion controls in in Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is one of the few uh, Mar uh, it's one of the few Zelda games I've just never been able to get through. Mr. Bio, Mario, Mario. It just, it just felt like it distracted from the game for me, like, the motion controls. Like, I mean, whatever, I'll take them, but... It was also just the game itself, I just, I don't know, I just didn't find it that interesting. It's one of those games that I, I would like to, I would like to finish one day. I think it's one of the only Zelda games I've never finished. Well, no, that's not true. I've never finished the first Zelda, like the NES one, or uh, or Zelda two. I guess I've also never played Minish Cap. I've also never played. Oh, you know what? I might not have finished um, the shitty DS Wind Waker sequel <laughs> spin-off. I didn't like that game. Phantom Hourglass. And I don't think I ever played the train one. I just, I don't know, I, I never really, I just never really get into the DS Zeldas. I just, I didn't like, I just, I didn't like the whole drawing gimmick stuff in Phantom Hourglass. I don't know. And, and, and Spirit Tracks just seemed like more of that, more of that. You remember there being a bit in Phantom Hourglass where you had to close the DS to solve a puzzle, and it took me fucking forever to work out how to do the, to do that. And I was like, "Fuck this game! I'm sick of this shit." Hardly a Zelda game. It's more of a Zelda game than those other fucking the CDI ones. But yes, I'd agree. It is. It is. It is very. It is quite far away from a Zelda game. But other than that, I've definitely been at least one of Oracle and Seasons, or maybe them both. I think them both because I seem to remember doing the special boss that you you had to beat them both to to to, to, to play as. Oh, I've never played uh, Link Between Worlds. I don't have a big love for the 2D Zeldas. Like, I like Link to the Past. A lot of that is nostalgia. But other than that, I don't have a lot of love for most of the other 2D Zeldas. Like, I'd never, I'd never touched Link's Awakening until the Switch version came around. 
And I enjoyed it, but I never enjoy them as much as the 3D ones. Dude, I cannot wait to climb onto this bee. I get to fondle the queen bee. It's gonna be great. And who might you be? A physician, we presume? And who might you be? A physician, we presume? No matter, we're in the most vexing predicament and require assistance. The most furious itchiness plagues our entire being. It must be stopped. Please find the source at once. Yo, the queen bee wants me to mount her. Mon Monka S. <laughs> no. My beautiful bee powers. Ready? There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the ticket. Keep. Oh, it feels so good. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the. Oh, it feels good. Oh. She's saying that. That's not me making that up. Those are words coming out of this game's mouth. Do you like this? Do you like this bit? Do you like it when I climb by here? Oh, it's so good. Oh, that tickles. Oh. Mario, oh. you little bee slut, you. Mario, you little bee suit slut, clamber all over me. Mario's just a fucking, Mario's just a little rent boy. Oh, my thanks. Now, now you have shown much bravery, new bee. We trust that we may rely on you in the future. I remember when I first saw this game, I was like, yo, this bee fair is freaking me out. <laughs> it, like, blew my mind. <laughs> Mario. Mario, you little bee suit slut, clamber all over me. Meow. Well, I don't know why the cat sound. Ah, a bee. Oh, what, Mario? Hey, it's you. I thought you were just a little bee slut suit, bee suit slut Mario. We escaped from Princess Peach's castle, but then we thought we thought Bowser would get us, and then we got lost with Luigi, and that was worse than being lost on our own. Oh, I just remembered, we found a power star. I'm sure you need this, so here, take it. <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this little fucking bee suited slut. Look at him. <laughs> look at him with his little, little wiggly tail. Mario. Mario goes stressed as a sexy bee for Halloween. <laughs> Which is, I say that, but I've seen sexy bees, and they are quite sexy. It makes me question, it makes me question myself. I'm like, do I like bees? <laughs> you didn't even know my name? Oh my god, Maria? Your name is like Maria? Dude, what a stupid name. That's what I just heard from your friends who just arrived. Mario, such a nice ring to it. Yeah, I can see that, like, Mario. Yeah, I like it. Mario, fetch me my fucking shoes. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay, we can be together. Wait, what? Wait, what is... <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? I, uh, I don't know about this. Look. Your friend's are waiting for you in the garage. <laughs> garage. I think they want to, like, tell you something, so, like, you'd best hurry on over there. Hmm. 
<laughs> the B in LGBT stands for B. Lions, goats, bees, and tigers. When the that's when the fu the furies <laughs> co-opt your uh, your 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 acronym. The four most sexual animals, yes. <laughs> lions, goats, bees, and tigers. We probably think of a bit. Uh, lions and tigers are too close. We can probably think of something else. Oh, I know. Lions, goats, bees, and titmouses. <laughs> Tuna. <laughs> Lions, goats, bees, and tuna. You're gobbling up every, you're gobbling up every side, Pat Man. There's gonna be nothing left. You're going between. You're going between all the. Uh, you go, you're going between all the different buffet hey, tables and taking a bit of both. Tip mouse. A bit mouse for tip mouse. Ah, oh, thank you, Athena. <laughs> a buffet of sexuality. Gobble gobble gobble. Like a turkey. <gasps> Lions, goats, bees, and turkeys. Those are the four most sexual th animals. <laughs> of course, turkeys. They've got like balls on their chin. It's hip to fuck bees. Ah oh, shit. It's hip to fuck bees. Bam bam banana now. Uh, Mario, somehow we made it too. <laughs> we'll have the other power stars and save Princess Peach. You can count on us, Mario. Dude, I can't, I can't believe this character got his own game. And that it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Who would have thought that Captain Toad would get his own freaking game? Captain Toad. He's a bit of a it's chode. always interesting what personality people give when reading lines. So interesting what personality people give when reading lines. I mean, like me doing the voice and stuff. It isn't interesting, isn't it? Oh, dude. So I just found out the other day. Remember... Do you guys remember the Majora's Mask short film that was done by a company called like Ember Studios? I didn't realize they were bringing out a game. And I'm actually pretty hyped for it now. It's coming out on PS5, new Xbox and uh, Epic Store in like the end of this year, I think. What's the game called? I can't remember. I'll look it up. I remember seeing the trailer for it. Ember Labs, that was it. Ember Labs. Sorry, not Ember Studios. Not Ember Studios. Ember Labs. Kina, yeah, I think it's like Kina the Spirit or something like that. Kina Bridge of Spirits. It looks fucking very sweet. If you've never seen the Majora's Mask short by Ember Labs, check it out. It's very impressive. It's like four minutes, four, four, four and a half minutes long or something like that. Uh, you can count on us, Mario. We're all in this together. Ah. 
Captain Toad, dude. You know who needs their own game? Captain Toad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. De loop galaxy. Oh shit. You ordered pizza for your siblings' birthday, but then some friends of the family sent a bunch of food. Oh. oh Batman, have you seen the Dragon's Dogma anime on Netflix? I was asking before, but no one here, no one here seems to have seen it. Yes. I think I'd recommend it. It isn't the prettiest thing in the world. It, it does use the, yeah, it's out. It does use the 3D animation style, and it's more, and it's less, less like B-Stars kind of looking more... <laughs> Berserk. It's not like it's 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 on the not so pretty end of things, I'd say. But then, it, but like at first, I found it jarring. It's not as bad as Berserk. It's just not as it's not as well done with the 3D as Beastars is, or that dragon hunting one. But like at the start, I thought it was kind of ugly, and then after a while, I just kind of didn't really notice it anymore, and I was like, oh. I will say though, the dragon looks really ugly. The dragon in it looks very ugly. I don't, they did not do a good job with the dragon. It looks too smooth. It's very weird. Um, but it tells a nice complete story. The voice acting isn't, isn't in it wasn't, wasn't really too bad. It includes nice, you know, lots of nice little nods to it. Um, the game. Although they don't use the freaking cool song. Me. I mean, that's a perfect intro song for, for for an anime for this. Let's explain. Okay. Try to match the guide on the bottom right. Okay, got the basic position. Turn left, twist left. So you turn left, turn right, okay. Can you like, like, climb with a random cattle? No, I can climb with a random cattle. Pawns are in it though, which is cool. Kind of just there's like a thing of like all the different monsters you see and stuff like that. It did make me want to play Dragon's Dogma again though. And then I opened up Dragon's Dog when I was like, I don't know if I do actually. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. How am I supposed to get those thingies on the side if I can't even? I don't have a pointer. How am I supposed to grab those? On a freaking, I'm on a freaking manta ray in the space water. This is crazy, dude. Space is mad. I wish space was this cool. I'd go to space then. I'd be like, yo, yeah, I'm, I'm going to space. It's got sweet ass like flying water parks or whatever the hell. This is, this 
place is freaking sweet. Give me some pipes to plumb and I'd be in heaven. I can just have a gold medal. Uh, I will say about this Switch version, it is very nice not having to worry about the stupid Wii thing, you know, the uh, the Wii bar. And having to worry if you point at the bar, because it's because it just uses the gyro inside the controllers. You don't have to really worry about where your hands are. <laughs> it definitely makes playing the game a lot more comfortable. I think that might be, that would probably make me like Skyward Sword more as well if they brought it out on the on the uh, is this like the penguins like like Alpha Chad brother he's he's so he's so fucking buff he's like a really buff penguin can we add penguins to the to the sexy animal list L G B T P Lions, goats, bears, lions, ghosts, bees, tuna, penguins. 